Hi, I'm Simon Dasan, Creative Director at A44 Games. And I'm Dale Pugh, Associate Art Director. We're an indie studio based in New Zealand. Our previous game, Ashen, was released in 2018 and we're excited to bring you this gameplay overview for our upcoming title, Flintlock The Siege of Dawn. Flintlock is set in the world of Kian, ten years after the door to the Great Below was opened, unleashing the gods and their armies of the dead. The lands of Kian are overrun. The coalition army is tied up in an increasingly hopeless siege outside the city walls. There is no one to defend the small towns and villages against the roaming hordes of the dead. You play as Nor Vanek, a flintlock weapons expert in the Coalition Army, along with Enki, a mysterious fox-like companion who enhances your combat skills with his magical abilities. On your journey, you will combine gunpowder, magic and steel to build your character into a fabled god killer. You'll also meet and recruit your former coalition team to devise a plan to break the siege and end the war once and for all. As you travel throughout the world, you can establish your caravan at key rest locations. This is your chance to rest and prepare for your next adventure. The caravan will grow as you meet and recruit former coalition team members to your cause. Each team member is an expert in their chosen field and unlocks crafting abilities and additional quest content. It's always good to rest at the campfire and see what's new. Building on our experience with Ashen, Flintlock retains elements of the Souls genre and infuses it with rapid mobility, resulting in dynamic and explosive combat, a style we call Souls Light. Flintlock's combat seamlessly interweaves melee and Flintlock weapons with magic and rhythmic battles where combos chain together. Each enemy's attack pattern needs to be learned and mastered. Extreme mobility is a big part of the gameplay. It allows fluid and fast-paced action using your explosive black powder jump and dodge abilities. There are three main categories of weapon. Melee weapons, such as Nor's axe, flintlock pistols, and secondary black powder weapons, including rifles and grenades. The axe, for example, is no woodcutter's tool. This brutally effective weapon, along with an array of other single-handed weapons, provide players with unique combat opportunities. Each weapon has a different modifier to enhance and change the gameplay. Flintlock weapons are the primary tool in your arsenal to fight the dead. You restore black powder charges by hitting enemies with melee attacks. Secondary weapons are powerful flintlock firearms that require time and skill to reload. Like traditional black powder weapons of the past, they often only fire a single shot before needing to be reloaded with a skill-based reloading mechanic. Your secondary weapon charges are only replenished while resting, so preparing in advance and knowing when to deploy them is key to their successful use in combat. Grenades give you new strategic options to deal with enemies. Each type of grenade has a limited number of uses. You can find more grenades by exploring the wall. Much like the secondary weapons, you can restore your grenades by resting. The more grenades you pick up, the more you can throw between rests. Enemies can be engaged in a number of ways. Learning each enemy's moveset and mastering the best attack Counter-attack and defensive moves are key to unlocking the full combat system in Flintlock. A break attack is an attack that cannot be blocked or parried. It will also leave you vulnerable to follow-up attack. You can interrupt an enemy break attack with your Flintlock arsenal, leaving the enemy open to a swift follow-up attack. With the right timing, a regular attack can be parried, opening the enemy up to counter-attacks and extra damage. The purple bar above the enemy is a priming indicator. Once an enemy is fully primed, you can perform a critical attack, which instantly defeats an unarmed enemy. Or strips the armor from a more heavily protected one. Enki's strike applies the curse of death on enemies, allowing you to build up their prime from a distance before closing in to finish the job. 
While Inky's curse is active, your melee strikes will also build the priming bar, as well as inflicting damage. In addition to the curse of death, you can equip different curse stones to Enki. Each stone makes his strike apply a different status effect, such as poison or weakness. As you increase your bond with Enki, you will unlock powerful magical abilities called Witherings. Enki's Withering Gauge will build over time. When it's full, Nor and Enki can fuse together and unleash a devastating ultimate attack. Armoured enemies take reduced damage and are less likely to be stunned by your melee attack. While you can kill an enemy that's armoured, you'll often need to remove it first by fully priming them and using a critical attack. Shields prevent all damage from a frontal attack. You must first remove the shield to attack head-on, or find other openings. Ripping off a shield exposes the enemy to a direct attack. With a war that has been raging on for so long in Qian, coins and gold have become worth less than your reputation. Reputation is the currency in the world of Flintlock and represents your renown and experience. It can be spent to obtain skills and items and craft upgrades to your weapons and armour. Engaging in combat and defeating enemies is one of the best ways to build your reputation. The Combat Reputation Multiplier rewards you for using unique moves in combat. Each unique strike, jump, or dodge you weave in builds your multiplier and increases the amount of reputation you gain. But be careful. If you take damage, you will lose your multiplier and the additional reputation that has been gained. You can choose to bank your reputation at any point and the multiplier will be reset to zero. Hamlets are settlements around the world that have become overrun with the dead. Defeating the boss will free the hamlet. The people will return to their normal lives and you'll gain access to the local coffee shop. Every coffee shop has a host. Hosts are mysterious creatures who care for the local inhabitants. A host will give you an extra health restoration flask as a reward for getting rid of the dead. You'll also gain access to the shop, where you can cash in your reputation to buy clothing items and customise your look. Since the coffee shop is the central hub of every hamlet, hosts know everything going on in the local area, and will offer up rumours which form the basis of Flintlock's side quests. If you choose to follow up on a rumour, or engage in conversation with a local character you've met in the world, you'll be rewarded with quests. And what's in it for me? These are an excellent way to fully explore an area, unlock unique inventory items, and enhance your experience of the sort. Even if you're not on a dedicated quest, it's always worth exploring off the main path as there are often more challenging enemies and greater rewards to be had. From myself, Dale, and the rest of the A44 team, thank you for checking out our gameplay summary. We hope you're looking forward to diving in and exploring the world of Flintlock.